Welcome to Color Compare Update of Blue Colors. This is the Contrast and Speed Paint Color Compare, and we're doing an update here, which is a little different than how I've handled the other videos with the new Citadel Contrast Colors. We've already looked at six of these colors, these six here, the three Citadel that are hanging out in the back there, the Ultramarines Blue, the Leviathan Blue, and the Talisar Blue. And we've already compared those to the Army Painter Magic Blue, High Lord Blue, and Cloudburst Blue. So if you want to see those comparisons in more detail, go back to that other video and check that out. We're going to focus on how these three new colors here fit into this comparison. So we have Storm Fiend, Celestium Blue, and Asserman Blue. And here they are. Right off, I want to just say the kind of overarching theme with these new Citadel contrast paints, and I think you can really see it with these blues, are they're a lot brighter just in general. Like if we take the old Citadel paints, let's just grab those real quick. We'll leave the army painter down there for a moment. And we just look at these old Citadel paints, we see that the new ones just up that vibrancy just a little bit. The notable exception is that Talisar Blue did kind of have that vibrancy before, but if you wanted that kind of, I don't know, that extra, I'm going to call it that vibrancy kind of thing, you needed to go that light with your blue. Well, not anymore. Check out Celestium Blue here. Celestium Blue is almost on the level of Ultramarine's Blue in its brightness, but, or in its color rather, but it's a lot brighter. Yeah, I mean, there's a different hue there, sure, for sure, but it definitely is a kind of a brighter dark blue. Kind of a weird thing to say. It's a brighter dark blue. If we look at the Asserman blue, we see that it's fairly similar to that Talisar blue, but it's a little bit darker. It's just a little bit more kind of saturated, I guess, the color. It's a little like, um, not maybe not saturated, maybe deeper. You see the difference there on the camera. So that's kind of the interesting thing there. I will point out, I said this in an earlier video, but in case you haven't watched that one, you do notice some of these scratches on some of these, like on the Ultramarine's blue skull here. I need to varnish my swatch sticks because the way I store them has proven to not last as well over time. And so as I've been using them, and I'll, I'll show you how I use them in another video, they have been... Uh, not so great, so be sure to varnish your speed painted miniatures. All right, so where then does our friend Stormfiend come in? And honestly, I almost didn't include Stormfiend because Stormfiend eh, is more closer to maybe a Leviathan blue, but it's got that little hint of like tealiness to it. And so I, I think it's going to maybe show up again with the teal color compare. We'll see. Already got a lot of colors over there, so I don't know. But these new colors are definitely a welcome addition to this range for sure. All right, what do we have then from the Army Painter side? Did Army Painter already have some of these maybe before it was cool? Let's find out. And the answer here is that Army Painter, let me get these in the order I want them in here. Army Painter did kind of have the vibrancy down, I think, a little bit beforehand. High Lord Blue may be similar to that Asterman Blue, though I clearly need a second coat on here where I did not with the Asterman Blue. The Cloud Burst, not quite the same as that Storm Fiend there on the bottom. Definitely a darker color, not a tealy color. In fact, Army Painter, the only real teal color we got was the Plasmatic Bolt. Um, so Asterman Blue may be closer to High Lord Blue again. We're going to need a couple of coats there. But I want to say that the Army Painter's Blues, maybe they did have a little bit of that vibrancy. But also, I think we have such a large range of blues now that if you can't find the blue you're looking for between these two, I would be very surprised. Though, do let me know if that's the case. Alright, so I always like to answer the question, if I owned none of these, and again, obviously I own all these, I say this every time. Obviously I own them all, but if I didn't, what would I honestly want? Stormfiend, such a unique color, and it's got that dark, um, kind of, you know, almost dark spookiness to it. I'm definitely getting Stormfiend 
Gonna be putting this on some of my night haunt for sure. As far as blues go, so I don't paint like ultramarines all that much. Um, I think the most of the ultramarines I've painted have been on this channel, and that's like maybe one video. So I'm not really looking for a good ultramarine color. I am gonna look for some good blue for like some uh, orc shirts that I like to paint blue. And for that, I'm probably gonna go with like a high lord blue. I just like how that looks, even with the multiple coats being necessary with it. Uh, is there a new Citadel color that I think I want instead of that? Uh, I'm probably going to try the Asserman blue. See, that's a little bit of a different color. Very similar darkness, but a different color to it than the new Celestium blue. I don't know. Blue is always a hard one for me. I don't paint a lot of blue, so let me know what you think. And uh, I would say... Uh, get the blue that you're going to use. I don't know that I need this many blues. Oh, I'd probably also pick up a dark blue like Leviathan or Cloudburst. One of those two. I did paint my Death Corps of Krieg with the Leviathan blue, and that turned out very well. So I think I'm standing by that decision. Would definitely get some Leviathan blue for sure. So there you go. On my shopping list, Leviathan blue, Highlord blue, Stormfiend, and then pick up whatever else for the project I need. As far as overall quality here, one of the things that we've been tracking with the new um, contrast paints is some of them are very flat. None of these are in that category. They're all um, nicely getting into those recesses, leaving some good highlights. Sometimes leaving a little bit too much of a highlight, as in the case of Storm Fiend, so you might need to do some touch-ups, as always, with any contrast or speed paint. All right, well, that's all for this color compare. Hopefully it's helpful to you. Let me know what you're going to be painting blue. And take care. Thanks for watching. Let's get gaming.